Hello, I am Mega S. Rao. Our project is Automatic Traffic Control with Emergency Services and Lane Device. My team members are Milan Naram, Mamta Ji and Mayuri U. Assist. Under the guidance of Dr. C. V. Ravi Shankar, Department of ECE. Traffic Density Control. Here we are considering two junctions, Junction A and Junction B, where Junction A has pole A1 and Junction B has poles B1 and B2. Poles B1 and B2 are mounted with LCD screens that displays necessary information required for the travelers. Let's straight away get into the demo. We are considering three levels of traffic, low, medium and high. Ultrasonic sensors are used to decide the volume of the traffic. The vehicles that doesn't cover any of the sensors is considered to be the low level. The traffic beyond the first and the second sensors is considered to be medium and high traffic levels. Let us see how the traffic is cleared based on the volume of the traffic. When the signal is red, the volume of the traffic is decided. Here you can see the traffic volume is in low level and the clearing time is around 3 seconds. Now consider when the traffic is in medium level, the clearing time will be 5 seconds and parallel you can observe in pole B2, it has to wait for 5 seconds since the traffic level is low. Now, when the traffic density is high level, the clearing time will be given 7 seconds and B2 lane will get a waiting time of 7 seconds. Let us compare the pole B1 and B2. When pole B1 is in mid-level traffic, and pole B2 is in low level traffic, you can observe B1 gets 5 seconds of clearing time and pole B2 has got 5 seconds of wait time. Now second condition when B1 is in high and B2 is in medium level. Now pole B1 gets a clearing time of 7 seconds and pole B2 got a wait time of 7 seconds. Consider a situation in junction A wherein a traffic congestion is observed due to accident or any other emergency situation. Now the pole A1 waits for two consecutive green signals as you can see here. Even after this if the traffic is not cleared, a message will be triggered in the previous junction's LCD screens telling to avoid junction A, as you can see here. Second part is emergency services. As you can see here, at pole B1, there are four panic buttons mounted for emergency services. Four such services are provided. For traffic police, police, ambulance and fire service. When any of these buttons are pressed, a message will be triggered to respective departments with the pole location ID and the type of emergency. As you can see here, message will be triggered to traffic police. to police as you can see here and next is ambulance the message will be triggered accordingly for the fire service here a system is developed for automatic and manual mode of traffic control here we have already seen how automatically the traffic is controlled in the first part. Now here when the 
traffic is needed to be controlled in manual mode and a traffic police can control this at one place here you can see for junction a and this is for junction b for pole b1 and for pole b2 now switching this to manual mode it is switching to manual mode red and green control buttons are given here here you can see how the system is controlled now third part is lane device considering signal violation being the major reason for road accidents this module is been proposed consider two different lanes one lane before the traffic signal and second lane after the traffic signal consider the first case when the signal is green and it is open for vehicles as you can see here the vehicle is in lane 1 and the signal is open and it is lane 2 no violation is considered here consider second case when the signal is red and it is closed for vehicles as you can see the vehicle is in lane 1 and the signal is closed even after this if the vehicle moves and crosses the signal signal violated and definite fine will be generated conclusion in this system traffic density is analyzed on large traffic lanes and the density of vehicles is sensed in that particular lane and the flow time is increased accordingly when any switch for emergency service is triggered the respective department will locate to that place also alternative route is provided to the particular junction if the junction ahead is to be avoided the information will be displayed on lcd since fine is deducted for signal jump through a particular lane signal violation by vehicles will be reduced at large extent so that chances of accidents will be less advantages and disadvantages of the proposed system advantages reduction in waiting time of vehicles at the traffic signals provides automatic and efficient service reduction in traffic congestion up to date information displayed on lcd screens with the help of smart lane device module one can reduce the major reason of accident that is signal violation disadvantages cannot be implemented in every type of roads thank you